What's up, YouTube? It's me, Arthur, a.k.a. The Indie Comic Book Guy. I want to talk to you briefly about a subject that's near and dear to my heart, comic books. Now, Joe McPhee, a.k.a. the king of the D-list artists, him and I had a discussion recently. The discussion was about what matters more, the comic book art or the comic book story. Ideally, People would say both. They would say both. Right? Most people say both matter. But when you are looking online and you're thinking about buying comic books, so you're at a local comic book store, my whole point is you're looking at the art first. You might skim through a few pages and read a couple pages or whatever, or you might even read the whole issue and just say, eh, not for me. King of the D-list artists, he's like, no, no, Arthur. It's all about the story. The art is just there to draw you in. After that, it's all about the story. Okay. Is the king of the D-list artists right? Is it all about the story? Is it the art is just there to draw you in? I thought about this, and I started looking through some of my comic books. Look at it. I looked at Wanted. Great story, made it into a movie. I was actually hoping for a sequel. Didn't happen. But, you know, I started flipping through it. And, you know what? Great story, great art. This is the merger of the two. Now, I had to ask myself. If the art was not great in this book, would that would there be a sacrifice? Would I sacrifice great art just for the story? That I I like the story, and I was like, you know what? If the art was not good in this book, I never would have read the story. If I saw this book on the stand and just started flipping through it, and the art was just so so. I would have put it back on the stands. I would not have read it. I've seen great art match with crappy writing and vice versa for years, for years. You have to have good art. Yes, Mr. King of the D-list artist. You have to have great art or decent art to draw people in. If the art is boo-boo, I'm not going to want to read the story. I'm not going to want to read the story. I want to know what you think in the comments below. What keeps people buying comic books? Is it the art? Is it the story? Is it both of them? I really want to know what you think. If you're new to the channel, of course, like, subscribe. Join the discussion. Look at books like this. USA Assassin. US Assassin. Any book... Some people are like, oh my God, he has a comic gate book in his hand. Is he going to burst into flames? I don't care if you're comic gate, SJW, none of that stuff matters to me. It's all the same. Flip sides of the same coin. Everybody's bitching and moaning about some shit. Anyway, a good book's a good book. I like this book. I like this book a lot. Now, same thing. Flipping through it. Has a lot of action in it. The art does have that 90s feel to it. This would have been a bestseller in 1993, 94. Has that feel. So, modern day comic book readers, this may not be for them, but us old guys that are 35 plus that grew up on that kind of image, extreme age of comics, we're all over this. We're all over it. Is it the best story in the world? No. Is it something that you're going to discuss with your friends and family and your fellow comic book nerds? No. You're just going to read it, enjoy it for what it is, and put it back. You know, it's a fun story. That's all it was meant to be.
They get stuff like 100 bullets. The art alone sold me on this. The story. This is a hard one. Would I read this if it had bad art? Ooh. This, if 100 Bullets was a series of novels, I would be all over it. If it was a series with bad art, sorry, can't do it. Good thing it has good art. Y'all remember this? This was a fun story about what if Superman had a lot of bastard children and they decided to team up, fight crime. Uh... It had okay art. Okay art. Story was okay, but... Ah, it's the reason why the creator just decided, you know what? Kind of done with it. Told all the stories I could tell with it. But it's one of those books where you definitely were read reading it for the story. You were not reading it for the art. No disrespect to the art teams, but this was the story... Where you were really just reading it for the story. Definitely not for the art. Powers. They messed up when they made a live action Powers uh, TV show. They messed up. This should have been an animated series. Uh, great art, great story. Hopefully one day they will make an animated series out of it. But, again, all we hear for the art are... The story of both. The art sold you on this. You started reading Powers and you were just like, oh wow. They wrote the, Brian Michael Bendis wrote the hell out of this. Now, if I say the king of the D-list artist, Joe McPhee, if he drew this, same story, would I read it? No, I wouldn't. That's just me being honest. Um, because I like this art. I cannot imagine this story with a different artist on it. I can't. Art, story, and fusion, great. Art is better than the writing. Let's just be honest. Ah, uh, another indie book. Ah, uh, really one for me. Really one for me. Uh, I just couldn't get into the story. The art was kind of, it was detailed, but it wasn't the greatest as far as the artist's ability to take that script and interpret it the way that I feel the writer really wanted. One for, it wasn't from a lack of trying. The artist tried. Ah, uh, Crossers Gate. This is a comic. I put this in that D-list artist category. Um, but neither the art or the story really would make you come back and pick this up. It just, it was a good, I'll call it amateur comic. Because there's levels to this shit. There's amateur level, indie level, pro level. And we got to start calling things for what they are. We really do. This is a decent amateur book, but indies these days have stepped up their game. They've stepped their game up. So if you look at an indie book right beside a book from Dark Horse, boom, IDW, you're not going to tell the difference. This, you can see on the stands, even though I have my criticisms of it, but it's a huge difference between this indie book and this indie book. This is a professionally produced book. This, not so. And I'm holding it backwards. And my phone's ringing. Go figure. Anyway. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I want to know what you think. When it comes to buying a comic book, what matters most to you? The art, the story, uh, a fusion of both. Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe. I'm the Indie Comic Book Guy. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.